Have you ever become just kind of tired of the same Witcher intro over and over again? Have you found yourself skipping over it repeatedly to the point of where now as soon as the game boots up you just start hitting the start or the space button? Various video replacements by Mezias. Are you always skipping all the splash screens when booting up The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt? Well, maybe with this mod installed, maybe you won't do it as much. Now, what does this mod do? It provides you with the option to replace the main menu, Blood and Wine, as well as giving the option to replace the story recap slideshow with the cinematic of your choosing. Now, the description is very self-explanatory, and I think what the mod author did here was phenomenal it was actually something i thought of myself on many occasions while playing the witcher and booting it up and it played that same generic opening yeah it was cool the first two times for me but i often thought like why didn't they use any of these great cinematic cgi trailers for the witcher when it starts up like that would have been so much better and the mod author must have caught on my wavelengths and said to himself the same exact thing because he did it and frankly once this comes in once it boots up and the game is playing any one of these great cinematics of your choosing personally the wild hunt killing monsters worked for me perfectly but when i tried to put in the night to remember i ran into some issues i'm not quite sure what went wrong could be user error which is often the case with many mods but nonetheless when i did get the cinematic trailers to pop on it was perfect and seamless what the mod author did here was so well done it felt like it belonged in the game or it was already there it did not break immersion it did not knock me out of playing the witcher in fact it made me far more interested in the game versus the slideshow cartoon or whatever you call it the splash uh, thingy whatever long story short if you are as bored as i have been with the witcher opening then this might just be the answer to your prayers. Give it a download. Environmental Calibration by NAF93. This mod fixes and calibrates the environment, including colors, fog, clouds, depth of field, etc. Now this mod, I think, was intended for vanilla playthroughs of The Witcher, in the sense of maybe one that didn't possess a reshade of some sort. Or maybe, quite possibly, it could also be quite beneficial for people with reshades. Now I do know some reshades for a fact tend to make the nights perversely dark, insanely dark, which almost makes Geralt's cat eye seem pointless. But then again, that's why they have torches and the cat eye elixir. But for those who felt that the reshade that they liked and enjoyed was great except for their nights, this mod might actually be a boon for such an occasion, fully capable of making the lighting more illuminant of the entire area within sight. So as to say, the illumination from the moon, a full moon and a very bright night, could definitely give you the advantage of seeing way far off into the distance, whereas to sometimes the moon could be completely out in the open in The Witcher and still the nights were dark as hell. This for me is a mod that goes down to something as simple as personal preference. And for me, with the reshade I'm using, I feel I don't need it. But I could see some people who have a different preferred reshade that feel that nights might be too dark and this could fix that. Maybe nights are too dark for your vanilla playthrough of The Witcher and this could be something you might be interested in. Open menu during dialogues and cutscenes by Fluffy82. With this mod, you can open a menu and pause the game during dialogue and cutscenes. By pressing escape, you can open the menu during movies too, but the movies don't get paused. Now, this mod is pretty much as simple as it gets to install, using Nexus Mod Manager or you could do the manual way. But, always remember step 2, which is very important. 
Now, if you're using a controller, you'd have to use a different uh, command under scenes in my documents. Uh, let's see, which your input settings file. Remember to do that. If you have a controller, it's the action in-game menu back select. But if you're using PC, it's the IK escape equals action in-game menu. This is quite easy to forget or miss. Most people click the download button and miss it entirely. What this mod does is it gives you the ability to pause in-game cutscenes, like full out pause them. And it's quite interesting. It also gives you the luxury of even changing graphical settings. Now remember, once you select the graphical settings you want, the cutscene will play again. And then you have to pause it and change it again back to the way you like it. It's kind of cool to see what the scene will look like with and without hair works. Considering I only play with hair works, it was just very odd to see the game without the hair works on. Also, this could be a boon for, let's say, you're playing The Witcher for the first time and you're enthralled with the game. But you have to go get up and do something. Now you can actually pause the cutscene. But like the mod author stated, you cannot pause movies. You can probably load from the movie, even though I haven't tried it. You could dick around in the options, but that's about as far as you get. I personally think that this is a great addition to The Witcher, especially for someone who's just first playing the game and might have other responsibilities in life. Then you got to get up and take out the damn trash, but you got to you at least can now pause the cutscene without having to reload from an earlier point to have it play again. This is actually a very cool idea. Dirty Viper Armor and Kermoran Half a Year Later Retexture. Both by Spears. Geralt has been on the road for half a year. Why doesn't he look like it? He has a nice pristine armor in the beginning, and that always bugged me. All it does is darken the mail and dirty the armor, like a man who lives on the road. That is the description for the Kermoran armor. And the Viper armor is, this is the Viper armor, made into a dirtier texture. Geralt is on the road his entire game, so I found the dirtier armor more fitting. These both fit a visual aesthetic that the mod Arthur felt was more or true to life as to what the character probably should have gone through over time. The armor in and of itself, I think, looked better on the Kimor version than the Viper armor. The Viper armor, I believe Geralt got in pristine state by, oh, I can't tell you, that would ruin the game for you if you didn't play it. But the Kermoran armor I could see degrading over time. But then again, also Geralt does spend a great deal of time seeing armor smith, so I'm sure they will repair the armor. But this is fitting the aesthetic vision of the Mont Arthur, who is the artist here. And back to my point in hand, I found the Kermoran armor looked better weathered. Now there is a drawback to these mods. You can only use one at a time. Do not use both. These are separate mods. If you use one or the other, it will screw up the texture on the other armor. Hell, in fact, for some odd reason, the Kermoran half a year retexture armor screws up the vanilla armor for Viper. So if you have that on and you switch back to the Viper armor, you'll find that the Viper armor's textures have now switched to a weird clown-like red and blue. I wouldn't be surprised if the same would be said if you use the Viper armor and switch back to the Kermoran armor. Just something to keep in mind, a little food for thought. If you agree with the mod out there and always felt that Geralt's armor needed a bit more weathering, I suggest giving this a check out. Quicker Combat and Miscellaneous Animations by Wando. This has been tested with version 1.22 and should work with all later patches. Animation speed has been increased for Combat Walk by 40%. Guard Walking is unchanged. Roll slash Dodge 25 plus 40%. Fist Dodge plus 40%. Combat guard walk stopped is now instant. Remove some guard animation so Geralt won't shuffle around as much while guard slash walking visually only. Animation speed for the automatic turns Geralt performs when he is facing his enemy due to dodging slash rolling etc has been doubled. By default two animations are used for forward dashing. One stutters noticeably more than the other when playing a higher frame rate so it has been removed. Stopped while sprinting is almost instant now. Also allows for tighter turns while sprinting, not aimed at combat. The slow pirouette attacks Geralt performs on fast attack at mid to far distance has been replaced with a basic short range attack used heavily for gap closer enemies. Delete combat swords WS if you don't want this changed. Sign channeling animations unchanged for now, maybe. 
overall combat should feel more responsive with better sense of spacing and control. Remember, Combat Swords WS is something that is used with other mods, so be sure to check for conflicts via the merger. Any modder questions, feel free to ask. The mod's description is very self-explanatory. This mod sets out to make Geralt far more responsive and a lot quicker in combat, which makes a lot of sense. If you remember one of the earlier trailers, in fact, the trailer that is shown in this video at the very beginning that was modded in, when you see Geralt taking on the Nilfgaardian soldiers with nothing more than a hand knife, the speed and accuracy Geralt had at his disposal above a normal human being was superhuman. And I found that while in-game, Geralt was quite slow and clunky. He didn't seem like that quick monster that he was mutated to be. This mod sets out to try and recapture some of that feeling that Geralt should have started off with. And I personally find it to be great, especially since I'm gaming at higher than 60 FPS. This change in combat speed is very much welcome. And I suggest this to anyone who's got fast little fingers, if you know what I mean. Unfortunately, that's all I have for you today. I did try a, a number of mods, but these were the only ones that seemed to work well enough of my game to do a showcase on. Well, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you need me, I'll be sitting in the dark waiting for my pre-order key of Battlefield 1 to come. Ah, son of a bitch.